a bog zombie on the bottom. If the bog zombie is on the bottom, is it called the bogum? Okay guys, today we are in Chattanooga, Tennessee at this spirit Halloween right behind me that has no signs on the building. They have the window postings, but there are no signs up here or here. That's because they're over here on the corner of the building, right here. How very strange. This is actually very reminiscent it seems that I was in Chattanooga last year, but what I really remember is having to Photoshop the signs on that building. Maybe it was two years ago. I don't know if it was this store or not, but it seems I Photoshopped the sign right there and right there. And this year, I'm gonna do it again. Let's head into this spirit Halloween with no signs and see what kind of Halloween goodness we can find. Thank you, sir. My lord, is it hot in here. Let's hope the air is on inside the store. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Raven, Lord Farquaad, Mr. Nostrils. This is a pretty awesome looking store, guys, and they have some spooky type of music on, too. I definitely like that. Put the lime in the coconut. I'm not so sure that's a spooky song. It is definitely hopping in here though today, so let's just go ahead and start working our way through and see what we can do. Oh, a small child just turned on Mr. Grimm. What in the world? Look who they have in place of Monty right here. It's Mr. Punchy. Come on, Punchy. There we go. This is a super busy store today. All right, let's check out the Tombstone of Terror and see if we can get him going. Is he on the sensor? Yes! Hello, Mr. Toomey. You deserve stickers. Look at this, guys. We have two ginormous deadly creepers over here, right beside their smaller little brothers, the jumping spiders. Man, you could get a bunch of these and set up like a whole spider nest. A whole family of killer deadly creepers. All right, let's go through here real quick. We have four tubes of bubbles of death, and we have Mr. Crouchy here. Mr. Young Crouchy, that is. Let's give him some stickers right there. All right, this is super busy in here, guys. Let's just start making our way around the store and see what we can see. What in the world is this? It's an air conditioning unit that's riding up the escalator. I'm not sure what this store used to be, but it may have been a Sears. Oh, hello, Mr. Nose. And hello, Mrs. Mouth. Look at this, guys. We got a whole bunch of animatronics for sale on the floor. We've got two Mr. Punchies over here. Look on top, there's a hand grabber mechanism. That's always awesome. We've got the swinging witch down here. Wait a minute, what's this one back here? It's the decaying zombie groundbreaker that someone knocked over. We've got the pose and stay skeleton. We have two more Mr. Punchies over here and yet another hand grabber mechanism. We've got another empty soul girl on a swing. Oh, I guess that's the first one. Two pumpkin lights, a bog zombie on the bottom. If the bog zombie is on the bottom, is it called the bogum? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. All right, we got some stuffed dummies over here. Wow, is it loud over here. We've got Reagan. Oh, look behind the Sinister Spirit doll. It's a Betty Sharp. We've got two more Mr. Punchies here. Wow, we've got one, two, three, four nozzles here. A fogging skull pile. What in the world? This looks like the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. It's pretty loud over here, but it is pretty cool how Betty Sharp's clothes are just blowing in the wind. We've got Reagan over here as well. And look at this, somebody put a zombie baby down here. And there was actually just a little girl standing here going like this, trying to get the zombie baby to activate. And look at this, guys. We actually have a Hauntress set up. What in the world? I haven't seen her for sale in any stores, let alone set up. Wait a minute. 
Here's the foot pad. Let's see if she'll go. Do it, Hunty. Come on, Hunty. There you go. Good job, side lunging, Hunty. And of course, we've got nozzles set up over here. Okay, good enough nozzles. We've got the giant deadly creeper on the wall. You gotta love his tentacles and his red spooky eyes. Let's leave some stickers for that deadly creeper. It is insanely busy and loud in this store today, guys. Oh, look at this. We have the hanging Barbara and Adam. I know some people online were looking for these. Well, they are in Chattanooga, Tennessee, right alongside the five foot Beetlejuice snake. They've got the killer clowns inflatables. They've got the ghost face inflatables. They've got the crouchy statues, the Pennywise sidesteppers, and the gremlins bobbleheads. Oh, and look at this, guys. They've got the killer clowns hand puppets. Oh my gosh. I'm probably going to regret it, but I am not going to buy these guys. Um, they are totally awesome looking and I love that hair. It reminds me of the trolls that you'd put on the end of your pencil and spin it around and the hair would get all crazy. All right, this area over here has cleared up a little bit. Let's head back over here and see what they have in the scream department. And yes, they do have the purple masks and the chrome mask. Oh, look, they have the blue one up there, too. I'm so glad these are starting to show up in stores. They have the red one and the viper face and the light-up ghost face. And they have the socks and the jersey. While we're here, let's leave Mr. Punchy some stickers. I see the adult-size Sully suits, but I do not see any adult-size Mike Wazowski suits. It's probably because he read the map wrong with his one eye! Every time I come into a store, I see different Powerpuff Girls stuff, though. Look, we have Bubbles, we have Buttercup, we have Blossom. They have hats and earrings. Here's a Buttercup kit with glasses. Here's a Bubbles kit and a Blossom kit with glasses, as well as the socks but still no Mojo Jojo. They do have Billy Butcherson's head though for anyone looking for a Billy Butcherson head for their Hocus Pocus party. I love this Nightmare Before Christmas mug here with zero. It says, aren't you scared? Every day is Halloween. And you turn it around, we have Jack on the back, but the zero is the best part. Watch this, he spins. How cool is that? I should totally get that mug for my apple cider when I have apple cider and donuts. Although the Uggy Boogie mug is also totally awesome. Whoa, wait a minute, here's one that I haven't seen before. It's almost like a mug bowl. Like you could eat your haunted cereal out of this mug. Here's another one down here that's also a mug bowl. Up for a scare, everybody scream. Wait a minute, let's make our way over here to the zombie babies. Crap! Guys, I have been looking everywhere this season for a Little Miss throwing a fits. And these are like basically the same zombie babies I'm seeing everywhere. Of course, we do have the burrito baby and the secret keeping cats. Wait a minute, have we seen this funny bones mask yet? I don't know, that thing is multicolored and pretty creepy. Look at all the door knockers they have, guys. They are absolutely packed with those as well as the Frankenstein side steppers. Oh, and we can't forget our friend, the rubber chicken. Ooh. They also have the Fright in the Box inflatable, which if you guys have not seen, you can go over to my other channel, that Nate Guy on Halloween, where I blow him up and he's absolutely enormous. Hello, Fishbone. Hello, Batbone. Hello, Octabone. Lots of ghost face stuff over here in the kids section. There you go. Have you seen Little Miss throwing a fit? All right, we finally get a chance to make our way through the electrical tunnel of death. What in the heck? This got yanked on, apparently. It probably doesn't even work anymore. Let's see. Ah! Tons of pajamas in stock, along with chains of death. Whoa, look at this hat, guys. I have not seen this before. It's a beanie that says, have a killer day. And look at these earrings. It's black cats with spooky pumpkins. 
They do have a bunch of Michael Myers stuff, but not the Michael Myers Halloween Ends mask. As I think about it, actually, I think I saw that mask back here in the back of the store. Um, that's not it. Yes, there it is. It looks like they have one, two, three of them in stock. The Halloween Ends Michael Myers mask. I can't wait to see the new movie. They do have the Hookhead Hog. All right, guys, it is just so busy in here that it's actually difficult to make a video, so I'm gonna call it a day. On the old Spirit Halloween in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Way too busy in there. Very loud, very hot. Plus, the Demogorgon tried to get me. Mm -hmm.